atas nama masyarakat desa Palimai khususnya Kalau Tengah. Halo, good afternoon, tributers. Welcome back with me, Butiara, in Indonesia Soft Tribute Lapo. We will present you an updating and interesting information from every place in Indonesia. And here are the complete news. The first news is, Lato-Lato is prohibited in the school environment in Banjarmasin. The Education Office of the Banjarmasin City issued a circular regarding The ban on playing lato-lato in a school environment. The SC contains instruction for the education unit to make a written circular that is a persuasive to each student to prohibit them from bringing lato-lato playing instruments to school. Intended for supervisor of kindergarten, elementary school, and junior high school, both public and private in Bajarmasin and also to parents of students. The contents of the letter also contain a nip bill to parents to supervise and ensure the safety of their children in carrying out lato-lato activities. A number of schools in the city of Banjarmasin have also received a circular from the Banjarmasin City Education Office and have implemented it. The next news is Karimun fisherman who fell into the Natuna Sea have not been found. The search for Karimun fisherman who fell into the Natuna Sea has not yielded result. Entering the fourth day, the Natuna National Search and Rescue Agency and the team are still looking for the 18 years old Karimun fisherman named Raden Bambang Firman Alamsha. The Karimun fisherman who crashed in the Natuna Sea were the crew members of the Kiam Bahagia Natuna ship, which legally fell into the sea on Saturday, the 7th of January 2023. Even though the search has been expanded and supported by a number of other combined search and rescue teams from local fishermen, Raden has never been found. The difficulty in finding the whereabouts of missing Karimun fisherman is thought to be due to the strong sea currents. Head of the operation section of the Natuna Search and Rescue Office, Budiman Seda. Currently, his party is conducting monitoring until the search and rescue operation will be reopened if signs of victims are found. Previously, the Search and Relief Office of the Natuna National Search and Rescue Agency on the first day of searching for victim dispatched Kiam Search and Rescue Sasi Kirana 245 and a number of rescue personnel compared the location where Raden was suspected to have fallen. It's been two weeks since the floods in Solo Tegawajo Hamlet have not receded. Floods have not resided in Solo Tegawajo Hamlet, Palimai Village, Sabang Park District, Wajo Regency on Sunday, the 11th of January 2023 in the afternoon. It is known that the flood hit the Hamlet of Solo Tegawajo for almost two weeks. Hundreds of residents' houses were flooded to the living room. As many as 81 family has have taken refuge in the homes of their relatives, but it seems some still choose to stay in their homes. The flood also damaged six resident houses. Currently, the resident of Salo Tenga Hamlet, Sabang Park District, Wajo Rijansi, still need assistance, especially bamboo and basic daily needs. The next use is the rice price in Kendari Kreba. The price of rice has crept up to 12,000 for one kilogram in Kendari City, Sode, Sulawesi Province. 
The increase in the price of one of these staple food has occurred since the beginning of December 2022, or approximately two months ago. Based on information from traders, there are several factors that have resulted in an increase in rice prices in Kandari City. From the information obtained, this was because the price of rice at the mill was high. He continued another cause was due to the entry of containers carrying rice from outside the area into Saudi Sulawesi so that prices soared up. The motorcycle theft suspect in Banjar Baru regrets his action. The Cempaka sector police uncovered a motor vehicle theft case in Banjar Baru, South Kalimantan. Two of the four perpetrators were even minors with the initial I and U who were about 15 years old. Another perpetrator who has been arrested named Amzia Shafiq is 30 years old. The one other person is still on the wanted list named Rian who is 18 years old. The head of the Cempaka Sector Police, Police Commissioner Ajudan Singhi Aditya Utama Seda, during a press conference from the proceeds of the crime, he said secured five motorbikes. The next news is the child becomes a victim of murder. A mother cries bitterly. Jumiati, unable to hold back her tears when she returned to tell how she parted for the last time with her eldest son, Arya Gading. Arya Gading became the victim of a sadistic and premeditated murder by an actor who is allegedly masterminded by a married couple and still has very close relatives, namely his own cousin. To TribuneKaltar.com, Jumiati told how she finally found out that her son had died. In fact, unluckily, the son was found in the condition of a pile of bones still covered with the last search worn about 1.5 years ago. Arya Gading was found buried by members of the Tarakan Resort Police Criminal Investigation Unit after struggling for nearly three days after receiving a report from the victim's family. He also straightened it out so far. The perpetrators had never asked for a ransom. But based on the information he heard, the perpetrator intended to bike himself as an own because he was found to have just sold land. The status of the alleged perpetrator himself is his nephew, Elias, the child of his biological brother. Since childhood, he was familiar often to his resident and often helped it. Arya Gading is the first child of the three siblings. After the police succeeded in uncovering, then he found out that his son was gone. The last news is the sailing of Riau Islands Regional People's Representative Council Office collapsed. The selling of the Riau Island Regional Parliament building in the Dompak area, Tanjung Pinang City, Riau RC Pulaka Province collapsed on Wednesday, January the 11th, 2023. At a public relation and public relation of the State One Protocol of the Riau Island Regional People Representative Council, is 90 by Weibo will confirm that. The sailing of the Riau Island Regional People's Representative Council building collapsed at around 9 a.m. He said the sailing of the Riau Island Regional People's Representative Council building collapsed during the rain and strong winds. He admitted that this was the first time he saw the sailing of the Riau Island Regional Representative Council building collapse during his service there. Even though it had panicked a number of employees, is 90 emphasizes that there were no casualties during the incident. Based on tribunebatam.id monitoring, the selling collapsed on the right and left of the office entrance. Selling splinters were seen scattered. Drops of water can also be seen on the left side of the building where the representatives of the people of Rio Island have their office. The, um, the employee who arrived looked surprised to see this condition. They walked very fast when they passed the collapsed sailing. 
Currently, one by one, the cleaners are seen cleaning the scattered ceiling. Well, I think that's all the news for today with me, Mutiara. Don't forget to follow us in YouTube Tribun Lampung News Video, Facebook Tribun Lampung, Instagram at Tribun Lampung, and TikTok at Tribun Lampung for further information. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.